In this hopefully quick tutorial, we are going to separate our to-do list into two sections. One is going to be completed to-dos and one, uh, the other one is going to be uncompleted to-dos so that we know what to-dos we need to finish. Uh, to do that, we are going to be using something called computed properties. So computed properties are just uh, some kind of programming logic that you would add to a template and then be uh, actually add to your script and then uh, be able to use it in your template. We have an example right here. So this could be a computed property. As you can see, it is not very readable. It says message split, then reverse, then join. And what this does is actually this. So you would have, this would be a message and you would just reverse that message. Of course, if you're going to use this just once in your template, you can do it like this. But as I said, this is not very readable. You have to look at it for a second to know exactly what's going on here. So instead of that, we can create a computed property, call it reversed message, which is super readable. And then you would have something like this in your template. So you would have a message and you would have a reversed message. You just look at it and know exactly what's going on in one second. Okay, so we are going to use computed properties, well, not to reverse uh, letters in a word, but we are going to use them to filter out our completed task or to-dos and our uncompleted tasks or to-dos. Okay, so we are in our to-do list view, And what we are going to do, we are going to compute all of the uh, to-dos or tasks that have a status of zero. So we are going to display all of our uncompleted tasks. And to do that, we just do something like this. So we go uh, into our script uh, below components. You just write computed. And then uh, we want to name our computed property. I'm going to name it complete uh, completed to do's. Okay, so this is very readable name. We give it a function. And then we do our logic right here. So whenever, uh, whenever you are doing computed property, you want to return something, you want to return some data. So we are going to return. We want to return a filter, which is going to be a function. So for every to do, we want to just return to do's that have a status. So status is, is it completed or not completed of zero? Uh, so no, this is completed to do's. Okay. So we want to return all of the to do's that have a, a status of one. And then we are going to do the reverse thing with uncompleted to do's. Okay. And that's it. So, we are creating, this is actually a new list of completed to do's, uh, which is going to filter out all of our to do list and just display the tasks or to do's that have a status of one. Uh, okay, of course, if we save this and go to our page, nothing will actually happen. So to correct that, we would go to our template and we have this uh, to do component. So in that to do component, we are going to <clears throat> change this V4. So instead to do int to do's, we are going to say to do in completed to do's and save it. And now if we go to our page, as you can see, this list is a little bit shorter right now. Uh, we are all also going to style this a little bit throughout this video so that uh, you can get better idea of what's going on. Okay, so how do we do uncompleted to do's? Well, the same way. So we're just going to copy this, paste it right here, and I'm going to call this uncompleted to do's, uncompleted to do's, and we are going to return all of the to do's that have a status of zero. Save it. And how do we display them? Well, we are going to first style it a little bit so that you can see uh, how this looks. So since we are using foundation framework, I'm going to add a row right here. So. 
Okay, save it. If we look at it, we get all of our completed to do's right here. And also we can give it a title. Completed. Okay, so now this is our list of complete to do's. Now, if we want to show uncomplete to do's, I can just copy this. Remember, we can use components as many times as we want. So we are using the same to do component right here. And we are going to call this uncompleted. And instead of to do in completed to do's, it's going to be called to do in uncompleted to do's. Save this. And now we have two lists. So this is list of completed to do's and this is list of uncompleted to do's. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change places with these because I want my uncompleted to do's to be on uh, left side and the completed on the right. So in the future, when we add um, functionality to complete to do, that to do is just going to uh, go into the right side of the screen. So now our uncompleted to do's are on the left, completed are on the right, and there is just one more thing I want to do. So I want to know the number of completed and uncompleted to do's. So how do we do that? Well, we can just open up brackets right here. And since we have all of these lists right here, so completed and uncompleted, uh, we can just do something like this. So uncompleted dot uh, length. Uh, when you say in JavaScript something that length, and if that is a list, it's going to give you the number of items in that list. So we just do uncompleted to do's dot length, save it, go to our page. And as you can see, it's 19. And we can do the same thing for completed to do's. Save it. And now we have 13 completed to do's and 19 uncompleted to do's. So this is how you use computed properties to filter out your lists. Okay, so this is it for this episode. Uh, remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. If you wanna ask me questions, of course you can use Facebook, Twitter, uh, GitHub, YouTube and so on for that. Uh, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content I put out and this channel, maybe subscribe. And also if you wanna send some money my way, you can use the Patreon page for that. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.